what an introduction. <clears throat> Shout out Hexographer for making that happen. And that was my sound check. Worked. <clears throat> it worked, so now it's time for us to put in work. So we're gonna go, oh yeah, you guys have to put up with me boomering this shit. So <clears throat> that's, a, <clears throat> that's a tradition. So disclaimers, disclaimers in the video below, in the description below, disclaimers in video number one, which you have to watch if you wanna understand this stream series. And the only thing that's changed to do with that first video is that now it's $20 of tokens rather than $10 worth of tokens. Not my rules, blame the Dilly Dow if you've got a problem. You know what? No one's ever complained to the Dilly Dow. The Dilly Dow, like, or, or attempted to complain to the Dilly Dow. Like I've never heard anyone complain. Everyone thinks it's great. Well, well I know you can't make that assumption, right? Like you can't assume that just because you've got no complaints that everyone loves it, but no complaints. So I'm going to share the screen if I can get my boomer ass into gear. I've had my coffee. Boomers always need coffee. So <clears throat> share screen. Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of that one. It's this one, isn't it? Hopefully. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. So my Twitter... Um, which is what I normally always start on just so that you guys can see that I'm the golden retriever of web three and, uh, the address it's really for the address of the Dilly Dow that's in my Twitter bio. I noticed something interesting with one of the streaming because I logged into the wrong streaming service. And so this is restream, but Streamyard now has, if you're, if you're dual streaming to Twitter comments on that Twitter video they claim will come up in the um, video, which is pretty cool. I'll need to try that out when I get time, but I have so little time to do shit that's actually worth doing. I just spend all my time doing stuff that's not worth doing. That's a lie. That's a joke. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the biggest news of the day. We'll get rid of this. So I've got this whole thing being shared now. So we won't, we hopefully won't have any screen share boomer fuck ups. So Yep, we've done that. We've done the disclaimer. <clears throat> nine millimeter, nine mil have brought out their scanner. Like they're it's not scanner. Fuck. Um, well, it's a, it's a scanner of sorts. It's a scanner of sorts. It's the, um, the leaderboard. Nine mil have brought out the leaderboard. And probably the best way to actually look at that rather than me pulling it up is... What can we leave the screen on while we're talking about this? Ooh, yeah, that's nine mil. You know what? In fact, yeah, let's actually just get deck screen on because we're going to be doing a lot of that today. So the best way to know what, what all the stuff is rather than me saying it or linking it or whatever is um, Pussycat Dev Team have got a Telegram channel that shows all the biggest Tangang news. It's called like Tangang News or something like that. And that's got the links for you to get to the leaderboard and also the link for you to be able to report problems. The link to report problems kind of looks like a camp. Cool. So this, I think it's got buffering on these things. So you probably actually were here. I was probably with you guys the whole time, but it, just in case. So sometimes when you see links where it's just like a bunch of numbers and letters, it's a scam. But this is how just how Google Docs does their links. So I've clicked it. It's fine. Like, I think it's fine. Obviously, use it your own risk. But those are the two links that you need. One, to check the leaderboard to see your points. And it's got all the points from owning like Pulse OGs, from providing liquidity, from swapping, from that other weird 404 shit that they did where they copied the, where they like <laughs> stole the ticker from an existing Tangang coin. I, I don't know why that, how that went down, but it's all good. Like, I don't think there's any beef or any shit. Like, see, wait, that's how we do it in the Tangang. That's how we do it in the Tangang. <clears throat> Some motherfucker can literally stomp on your shit and like directly fuck your shit up. But if 
if you guys are homies and if you guys are G's. So the, don't don't think that you can step into the Tang Gang and start fucking people's shit up and they're going to be like, oh, all good, man. That's all good. This is because these are like the two giga Chad dev teams that are within the Tang Gang that they were able to step on each other's shit and no one ever got upset. I'll tell you one that, all, that kind of happened in the reverse was when the Pussycat team would, were um, moving all of their... Uh, L, the LPs that were getting rewarded in their farms, the orange grow farms, when that was getting transitioned from away from Pulse X, because obviously those have got those issues where you're either getting fees or, um, or, or incentive, you can't get both. So they were like, so I think they transitioned from V1 to V2 at one point, maybe, fuck, I, I, don't, I don't know. But the, part, the one I'm talking about that's important was they decided to transition from Pulse X V2 LPs to 9 mil V2 LPs being the ones that are being incentivized, the ones that are being rewarded. And when they did that, just as a way of easy transition, they changed their domain from farm.pussycat.life to 9 mil.pussycat.life. Now, some people at the time were like, oh, uh, is are they a co like are they the same team is this some kind of special collab is it owned by the same founders is are they trying to steal the brand so so some people not many not heaps not heaps but some people queried why nine mil was a part of their domain because it's a subdomain you can make it say whatever you want once you own the the primary domain but the point is that there was potential for confusion there now, I don't think that one had as much potential for confusion as straight up having the same ticker. However, 9 mil could have got upset about that. Pussycat dev team could have got upset about the ticker. No one did because they all know that everyone's G's, everyone's on the same team. And, you know, that's, yeah, that's just the Tang Gang way. It's like, just keep shit, keep shit positive, keep moving forward. So what else we, have we got here to talk about? Um, I did have some other really positive stuff to say about the Tang Gang, but I'd just be repeating myself, I guess, some of it. New thoughts about new thoughts about existing awesomeness. Uh, some new coins that are either Tang Gang related or directly, indirectly Tang Gang related. We'll, we'll be looking at some of them in the... Yeah, what, what's, what's this show got in store for you guys? We'll be looking at some new coins that came out that are Tang Gang or Tang Gang related. We'll be looking at some uh, some old coins as well. We will be looking at, um, we've talked about the nine mil leaderboard. That was kind of like the main, that was like the main event of the show. So we're kind of done now. Uh, there was an example that I wanted to give you guys. Oh, I thought I would even just like do a quick run through on sort of uh, freestyling part of a video that I'm planning to make. It's been a lot harder than I expected. I just wanted to make a simple video that was like, for my Australian normie homies, this is how you get HOA. Click, 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 boom. And it turns out that it's much more difficult than it sounds. And because I don't want to, I want a combination of them not getting ripped in fees, but also not having to go through really complex procedures that would be difficult for a normie. And I want the video to not just like be outdated within two weeks from now or something or some short time period where I'm like, okay, this information is incorrect now. And so I think all those kind of like conflicting goals have made it a very difficult video to make. But the, but the main point is that I'm kind of put, um, I'm going to be putting my money where my mouth is offering this kind of like insurance in a way that I'm basically saying, if you're a normie homie of mine, like an AFK friend that I know, and, and you're not, and you're new to crypto and you buy this coin HOA, then if you, if at some point you start to panic as up to, up to a thousand dollars each, I will just buy the coins that you got off you for the, for the price that you paid. And so that you can like not panic. So it kind of, trying to strike a balance between because I've bought crypto for people before and they just it doesn't help they don't they learn, don't learn about how to actually do it and they have they're disinterested in even watching the chart because they know they didn't pay for it they're just like oh yeah there's some coins there they just they'll they just take this attitude of or oh, tangent will tell me the day that comes if this thing blows up so they're just completely not 
it's completely not the way that you're trying to get normies to like involved in crypto if they are just taking that at, at a level that passive, which is I am barely going to remember that there's some coins somewhere waiting for me that might make me rich. And so, yeah, so we'll be doing that, you know, I think the short version and maybe I'll just end up clipping this if it works out that it ends up being really good. But the short version is basically you, and this is very generic. You go on CoinGecko, you look up Matic, then you go to that coin, you click on markets and you look through this, all these polygon markets and find an exchange that you either already have or one that you're comfortable getting an account with. The two, the two that actually have, oh, sorry, oh, it has to accept Australian dollars. Fuck. Um, so, okay, forget that. You don't need to do that step. Basically, the, the two main ones are either CoinSpot and Kraken. They are two exchanges that accept Australian dollars and they're, they've been around long enough. I, I use them. I've got accounts. They've never, they've never dogged the boys. Uh, Kraken's particularly elite because they fight for crypto. The founder is a G when you watch his interviews. And also they helped me with my Mt. Gox. Um, they helped everyone with their Mt. Gox filings. So they're G's, they've been around forever. However, so if you would pick, if it was for me, I would pick Kraken. However, I'm told that Coinbase works better for noobs. And so anyway, so you pick one of those, you get an account, you deposit Australian dollars, you buy Matic, which is this coin here. It's called Polygon, the ticker's Matic. And then you go to pulsechain.com. This button will actually say install MetaMask. You click that and installs it. Then, then it will change to add Pulse Chain. You click that, it adds the RPC setting so that you'll actually be able to get to that chain. I'll explain all of that later and not in this video. And so you do all that. So then you've got a, an extension, browser extension. I know I'm boring the shit out of people who are, who are crypto Gs that came here to look at Dillies, but don't, don't worry, this will only take a second. Right. So then you've got all that shit. Then you go to this uh, website called changenow.io. You put your fucking Matic and you go PLS. So that's your input and output. Uh, you max this out. Maximum amount is 684. So let's just do like 680. <clears throat> By the way, that just happens to be about a grand Australian. So the maximum amount that Change Now will let you do in one go at the moment just happens to be the amount that I am insuring for people. So, so that so you do that shit. Um, you click Exchange. You get the wallet address out of your that out of that wallet that that MetaMask wallet. You'll be able to copy the thing. I'll show you how to do that. You just copy the the wallet address. That's the address you put in for where you're going to receive the PLS. And then it's going to give you an address to send the Matic to. So you go back to CoinSpot or Kraken and you send the Matic to that address. And uh, these mofos will sort it out behind the scenes to send PLS to your, PL to your EVM, your EVM compatible address. And then you go to Pateus. I know that Tangang, some people in the Tangang still think that Pateus dogs the boys, but I have yet to see any evidence of that. So you go to Pateus and then you connect the wallet and you just go PLS HOA and then you just buy it all into, or you, not all, leave a little bit of gas. You need, you need to keep a little bit of PLS for gas. And that's it. Boom, done. That's how you get, it sounds simple, but unfortunately because there's KYC, AML, like know your customer anti-money laundering bullshit that's going to come in there. That process that I just made sound like it should only take maybe 10 minutes is going to take literally on the order of days. Maybe, maybe. There's some Actually, some of the KYC processes have actually sped up quite a bit. So maybe you'll be able to get this done in the same day. So that's actually part of what, that's what's coming. There's going to be a dedicated video just to that. What else? Oh, I wanted to talk about this idea of a one-way street. So let's jump straight to that while we um, while we look at a chart of you guys can look at a chart of yacht 
Ooh, on a fat dip. So this, this shouldn't take long. I am not aware of any person ever who has worked out that Bitcoin is legitimate and then has gone back the other way. That has never happened it, that I'm aware of. I've never, I am unaware of, an, of a single human being that has ever decided firmly that Bitcoin is legit and then later decided that Bitcoin is not legit. Similarly, and I haven't heard this idea presented before, I just thought of it today. The same is true of the Tang game that I have never seen. And I've been around for quite a bit of it. Like both, both in terms of how early I discovered the Tang gang and, and started to participate, but also in terms of how frequently I'm actually there checking out what's going on, participating in spaces and in the chat and stuff like that. I am unaware of any person that has ever come into the Tang gang and participated legitimately, like so genuinely and legitimately participated and leaned into the Tang gang, who has then later become a hater and has said, oh, the Tang gang's not legit. I, you know, this, this, and this. The only, the, the only people that, in fact, I, I won't even mention the, the categories or the, the examples of some of the people who have left and have claimed that and why it's illegitimate. Th that statement is 100% true. In, in my opinion, I have like, sorry, the part that's my opinion is just the latter bit in terms of whether the person was there with genuine intention, right? That's, that's my assessment, that's my opinion. <clears throat> but the first part is just facts. The first part is just facts that I am unaware of any person that fits that criteria. So in crypto, that's one of the things, that's one of the weapons that you have in your arsenal to work out if something is legit. If, if no one, so there are definitely people who participate in altcoins and then become Bitcoin maxis later and say altcoins are too scammy. I don't like it. It's for whatever reason, I'm just going to go Bitcoin maxi. That, that definitely has happened. So then you have to be more careful when you're dealing in the altcoin space. But and that's just a, that's a broad scale example, right, of where you need to be careful and what is an indicator of, of safety and legitimacy. So while everything can go to zero and there's no guarantees and everything entails risk, I like the idea of being supportive of the things that I can objection like objectively observe to be those one way streets. There's no motherfuckers leaving. Now, I joke around about it being a gang. It's gang life. Once you're in a gang, it's for life. You don't leave a gang, right? But in this particular gang, in the Tang gang, that shit is not from threats of physical violence. That your gang for life, you're never leaving, is just because of the legitimacy and that one-way street that mofos aren't going in the other direction. And so if you're out on the street and you're seeing mofos only traveling in one direction, then maybe that's an indication of where shit is good. Now, I promised this was going to be a Q&A stream and we've spent the first, we're under 20 minutes. We're under 20 minutes for all the intros, disclaimers, shills, educational lessons, spiritual enlightenment, pro tips, life hacks, all of that shit done and out of the way. Let's go. Question time. Question time, baby. Or should we put a should we put a, a a pulse chain chart up while we're doing these questions just to demoralize everyone? Flag broke down, nearly back to sack. I see people in the chats saying we're going below sacrifice price. I love seeing that level of demoralization. I love seeing people. I love seeing people question. I, I don't. I don't like seeing people leave because then they're going to miss out when it pumps. But I do like people seeing people losing hope, but keep, but holding their bag anyway, where they're like, I'm just going to hold this piece of shit bag that might never go up. Perfect. Perfect. You are now, you are now perfect to me. You have now joined the, 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 gro the growing, the growing minority, the growing majority, the growing 
the growing sector of people who have lost hope, but are still holding your bag. Perfect. So I can tick you off on my, on what makes me bullish. Your sentiment has been destroyed. However, you're still in the game and you are still going to come on the road, on the grand march to Valhalla, right? So, so you win and I win and I win, then I win again. So I win double. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who is not dumping their bag and yet losing hope. That's fucking beautiful. Now I see lots of oranges in the chats. I see, uh, I see crypto class saying happy Easter, happy Easter to you too, crypto class. We had a, the Tang gang had an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> the Tang gang had an Easter egg hunt. I've never been involved in anything like this. So, uh, chosen goblin of, um, of, of the, of the poker night fame did a Easter egg hunt where it was. So if you hold his trick or treaters, which was a Halloween NFT collection that came out and he said at the time, if you get one of these, and by the way, it was free, it was free to Tangang. Anyone who holds one, so i.e. got it in the free mint or bought it on, or bought it on secondary, I got mine on secondary, is going to get free mints of all the holiday collections that come out after that, right? So there was a Christmas one. I think, yeah, Chris, so that was it. So Halloween, October. So there was a Christmas one and now this is the Easter one. The Easter one, the art was actually dank, but also the actual main point of it was one of them was a an an egg that gives you an airdrop. So this was cool because everyone gets art, everyone gets cool, cool Easter art, it, something for Easter. It was actually our, our only mint on free day uh, on free mint Friday. So if he hadn't done that, then we would have actually not had any mints on free day uh, on free mint Friday. And so that was cool. And then it and then it came out that the prize for the uh, for the person who got the golden egg, which I think was Christy, was yacht tokens. And then the yacht community, because the yacht, some people in the yacht community didn't know about this. I don't think the yacht community really knew about this. Chosen Goblin just just did it um, to support to support the yacht community and also. Um, you know, to bring a bit of Easter cheer to everyone and some fun, some excitement, feel childish again. It's the Easter egg hunt for adults, right? Non-sexual. So then, so then the, the yacht community rallied around this idea and they were like, yo, let's like 5X or 6X this prize pool of yacht. And so it was, yeah, it was just, it was just dope. It was just dope seeing um, just like, generosity and holiday cheer and trying to make people have a fun time or not make people have a fun time. God damn. That's the Tang Gang's job. I'm um, trying to make sure that, you know, I, I, you know, something that was really beautiful. I heard famous say in one of the spaces, he was like, I'm not with my family for Easter. So I'm going to ho host a space so that other people who are not with their families will have somewhere to like hang out and chat so that we can kind of do a, a sort of a, um, some of my friends used to do some of my friends that were like backpackers and, and, people who were not from who, who were not born here would have like on Christmas, they would do like a friend Christmas dinner because so because that none of them have family there. So they kind of become each other's pseudo family. And so I saw what famous was doing with that Twitter space as being similar to that idea where it's like, Hey, let's all, you know, um, I have subscribed strongly to this idea that life is ultimately a solo journey. <clears throat> And, but with that, the opposite is also true that you're never alone, right? So it's, it's kind of both. And I think the realization that life is a solo journey in a, in a spiritual sense means that then you don't get scared to be alone because you're like, it's a, it's a solo journey anyway. And it also means that you um, don't end up like, so it actually then just makes everything better. And then you realize you have more gratitude for when people are on your path and that sort of thing. So it actually, it's kind of like a paradox, right? Where the realization that life is ultimately a solo journey actually makes you feel less alone because, and, and you're not as concerned about it. You're not as worried about it because you realize, oh, I'm never actually going to be alone in the way that I feared that, or that someone might fear of, of being alone. So um, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. It, 
it's not supposed to. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, so yeah, look, uh, like holidays, holidays, and and family and, and stuff like that is um, is something that, and you know, and then you have other. Not to go on about this too much, but like then you have other people say, oh, like my family is not like no one in the people that I consider to be family are actually blood relatives, right? Like it could be someone who j- joins a gang. Like I, I saw a cool video. One of the how crime works was a guy who used to be uh, a gang member uh, in in a in a in an American gang, and there's so there's that version of family, and then there's also what other uh, and then there was another I had another example where it's like oh um yeah fucking Toretto or whatever his name is from Fast and the Furious, <clears throat> live my life one quarter mile at a time. He in that scene where he's like you're you're all you're all family to me that none of them are blood relatives. I don't think. Oh, actually, he might have a sister. Uh, he might have a hot sister that the that the dude who shouldn't even be there because an undercover cop plot sorry to plot spoil but he's like all right well, while i'm here i'm gonna bang the hot sister obviously so he bangs the sister and that's his that, look that's toretto's fault for having a hot sister bro don't blame me that's your fault for having a hot sister and so there's that and he's like you're all family which is obviously oh the tragic the tragedy of that the tragedy this show could have been a shakespearean play this is modern day Shakespeare, that he is there calling this group family when there is a snake in the grass. Whew. What what amazing, what amazing acting, amazing plot could have been a Shakespearean play. That's that that is the level, that is that is the cinematographic masterpieces and genius that you have come to expect from the fast and furious series so ted defi is in here yo ted what is up ted and i ted and i have been on the same wavelength lately with some with some very degenerate activities um in the in the crypto space and oh that's something else i wanted to talk about in this video i should be writing this shit down i went and observed some other chains and it literally, it's like rug, 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 rug. Okay, this one hasn't rugged yet. Wake up the next day. It was just a medium length rug. Didn't even last 24 hours. Rug, rug, rug. Look, I can just pull any, I can pull any of these other chains. Oh, that, and that was another flex I wanted to do with uh, with Pulse Chain or why Pulse. So we know the Tang Gang is incredible. We know the Tang Gang is incredible. That is obvious. However, some people need a little bit of reminder of why Pulse Chain's amazing. And I think there's some examples of why this, this hierarchy, and you know, haters will say this is Cope. Haters will say this is Cope. Stakamoto will be in the comments saying, ha ha, I'm closer to winning this bet. I'm closer to winning this bet because I don't understand how the bet works. However, with Pulse Chain, um, and, and he's gonna be in the comments saying, oh, this is, this is Cope. This is Cope, you, you, your chain is dead. I don't think, and in fact, I know from the observation of these other coins that these other chains, maybe not as much Ethereum, but these other chains have got massive, massive wash trading. Like, like it, this, so, yo, 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 don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Look at this. I'm going to, I'm actually going to, I wasn't going to say the name of the coin. I wasn't going to say the name of the coin. <clears throat> But I've decided some motherfuckers don't listen. These these visual creatures, they need to be shown. They need to be shown what time it is. I need to show these motherfuckers a clock. Otherwise, they're like, oh, oh, Tangent, you didn't warn us that the fucking, the entire thing was a rug. This is how, this is how rugalicious these other chains are. They are rugalicious. If you if you love rugs and and you know what there is one chain, there is one chain that for some reason they get this like little lock symbol if the LP is locked that helps. It's not a hundred percent though. There's other way you can still rug a project that has a locked LP. There's several ways to do it. the The simplest example is if the if the team locks the LP but then they've still got enough tokens that they can just crash the price to zero. They can still extract all the money out of that LP without actually pulling the LP just by selling worthless printed tokens that they printed out of thin air onto it until it ex- until it just literally takes all the PLS or whatever the native asset is out. So I am going to search. 
Oh, how do I find this coin? Uh, fuck. Oh, I'm going to be really boomering this. So, motherfucker. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right, so it's just messages by me that contain that word. I think it was this one. <laughs> let's you know, let's risk it. I mean, almost almost all of these projects are rugged, so you can't buy them anyway. There's no fucking LP. But let's just go and have a look at this, right? I think this is the one. Oh no, that's not it. That one only had oh, but oh, because this is 24 hour volume. Oh yeah, no, that's still within 24 hours. That's 16 hours. So look, you can see. All right, this one, this one did a nice old fashioned Squid Games rug. This one, this is the one where you get to see the rug happen before your eyes in an instant. And in that split second, your mind manages to scream forever. No. Oh damn! It's like a, it's like a, that movie Inception, where even though that flash crash is literally happening in the speed that the pixels update on your fucking monitor, it feels like you are five levels deep in a dream, and you are just screaming, "Daddy, no, no!" Um, so that one's a, yeah, yeah. So that one, so you can see. They fucking nuked that shit to zero, boy. And also rug the look. Oh, sorry, no, no. The liquidity when you do when you do a Squid Game style rug, the liquidity by definition goes to zero because it's like you've you've extracted all the value out of it. The base asset is now basically there's none in there, so that's zero. And then it doesn't matter how many billions and trillions of assets, gazillions of of the other asset is in there. It's it's one to one, right? It's worthless. So. And even if it's V3, it still it still works it out that it's that the liquidity is worthless, I think. Don't quote me on that. So <clears throat> are we gonna keep going through these fucking rugs until Rug City? Mm, not that one. So the man, there was one in there. I just don't know. Oh, I think this one might be it. <laughs> I think this one might be it. We're gonna do you know it's gonna be like a couple hundred of these where I'm like, no, 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 I'm pretty sure this one's it, guys. This name sounds real familiar. Right, so check this out. <clears throat> stole the brand. These motherfuckers stole the brand, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Look at this. 311 grand of volume. But wait, 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 because the coin's been alive for 15 hours, right? So that doesn't sound that doesn't sound impossible. But let's go and have a look how many hours ago the fucking thing rugged. Oh, so this one, <clears throat> this one was a slower style. This was a, a much slower style rug. This one was a much slower style rug. So this one's not this one's not full rugged. They've they've opened the door up. They've they've kept a bag, right? But this one's got this has got seven k liquidity now. When before it was like huge amounts of liquidity. I think they pulled. I think so. Most of these rugs that I've been looking at, they generally make about half an ETH. So they they start off. If this will let me go right back to the start. Typically, they start off by adding one ETH, around about one ETH plus or minus ten percent. So if you see a new coin on these other chains where it's like about an eight, about all oh, this specifically, this chain is based, but, and I don't know, Solana is different because it's like different. It doesn't use ETH because it's not a real L2. So, so just by the amount that I've been scrolling here, right? You guys can tell that this, this, you know, this was, this was psycho. <clears throat> I have been in crypto for a really, really long time. And I have never seen the um the volume and price action actually behaving like you're looking at a forex market where it's it was it was fucking insane it was fucking insane this thing was like 
I mean, you can go down to the one second chart, but, but the point is that most of this volume happened within the first like 10, 15 minutes. So it was doing like hundreds of thousands of dollars of volume in minutes, literally in minutes. So let's say over a hundred K a minute on a, on like on a single meme coin that had just been launched. And it's like, I mean, that's obviously a red flag. So yeah, it won't let me go right to the start to see the ad, but you can see in here that it's got, um, I mean, this is, a, this is a sign that bots are obviously active, but bots can be active on legit coins as well, right? So all these trades that are, but just look at the scale, like look at the scale of how much um, money was just being thrown at this thing. Like it's just for, for a brand new meme coin, it was just absolutely insane. So yeah, the chart was just whipping around enough about that but yeah it ended up it ended up basically being a slow rug where they just basically they dumped it all the way back to lower than where the fucking thing started and so yeah so it, it's it's interesting seeing all the different rugs for lots of them for lots of them i just bookmarked them where if i saw oh and by the way every single one that i looked at was paid was paid so they'd paid deck screener so i i i was like you know what? I'm not even going to bother looking at ones that aren't paid. I'm just going to I'll have that as a, as, and I had other filters as well. So I was filtering for various shit. So I wasn't even just looking. So statistically it should be, it's worse than what I was looking at because I was, I was, I had filters in place to try and minimize the chance that I was going to be monitoring something that was going to be a rug. And I'm pretty sure everything I was looking at has rubbed. So it's like, that's dude that's pretty wild that's pretty wild like as in for me to get a hundred percent strike rate for everything to be a rug when i had some pretty reasonable filters on what would mean that it's to try and make sure that you're avoiding most of the rugs what like are, are they launching anything that's not a rug like it's that that's crazy to me that's absolutely crazy to me so so yeah, they're, they're definitely ramping up the rugs and people, the, the annoying thing is people are falling for this dumb shit. So we're over on Pulse Chain, we've got real community, we've got real Gs. You hear the people, the way the people talk in the Pulse Chain community, and I'm looking at guys like Walrus and Gooey and fucking motherfuckers know what they are talking about. They have been in crypto, they understand enough about the game to be able to say stuff that makes sense and actually helps. These other chains, when you go over to their communities, they're, they're literally just doing all the moon boy shit. And sure, they're excited that their prices are actually going up, but everyone's in moon boy mode. It's like, it, it really, it, and you guys, will, haters will say this is code, but it really makes me think that Pulse Chain's legitimacy is part of the reason why we're not being shown up as legitimate in the ranks. So notice how, not, notice how like Tangang coins that are like legitimately murdering the game don't always show up on page, like some, they're not always at the top and sometimes they don't even show up on page one. I think that's kind of like what's happening here with, so if you're in the Tangang, then you know this analogy is legit because you know that the Tangang crushes it on every level and doesn't always get shown at the top. So I'm saying that we could be seeing a chain version of what is going on with the Tangang over here, where it's like the chain that is the most legit, that has the best out of EVMs, out of EVMs. I'm not saying it's more legit than Bitcoin, but it's I'm saying out of EVM chains, it's the most legit. It has the least wash trading. It has the least... Um, rug pool launches. It has the least actual scammy people, even though there are still scammers around. It has the most builders, the most dedicated people, the most knowledgeable people. And we inherited a lot of that from the Hex community that came up and learned kind of like a base level of, of knowledge and attracted in other knowledgeable people because people were like, oh shit, these people actually have discussions that's of stuff that discussions of substance about topics that I actually want to talk about and actually want to hear about, I'll join this community. 
So the way I see it, and some of you might not agree with me, don't let don't let some of the recent um, beefs that have just been noisy distract you from this general path that I believe to be the case is that the Hex community was legit enough to gravitate other motherfuckers that knew what they were talking about to the community. Then that shit had massive overlap to Pulse Chain because it was the ma same main founder. Then heaps of people within those communities decided to build shit of varying levels of success and of varying levels of scamminess. Just so say what you want about like how people went about it and what people did, but things got built, communities got built. And you, and you know, I heard something recently like, and I, I really, overall, I like what I see on Pulse Chain as I think Pulse Chain is net, is net positive. And um, someone made a comment recently, I think it was Somi. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's 100% legit. He was like, assuming that Pulse Chain gets even like a modest pump. So like four, say between four and 20 X, just a very like a, this is we're talking like for the entire bull market which that that to me is fud but like say pulse chain goes somewhere between like 4x and 20x in this bull market any pulse chain community that has actually built a community whether you like their community or not that, that if there's just motherfuckers that whether that you believe that they've been brainwashed or they've got stockholm syndrome or they're being toxic, or they're being tricked, or they're useful idiots, or they fucking, they're part of the cabal, or like whatever you think is the reason why they are over and, and showing up frequently in that community and tweeting about it and, and discussing it and defending it. Anyone that's holding any coins within any of those communities, those coins are going to do multiples on top of that. So we're talking, if it's like four to 20 on pulse chain, then it's like a hundred to fucking a thousand on a hundred. I think he said a hundred to 250, right? So this, this idea is not mine. You can't sue me for it. It's not financial advice. It never is. Suck my dick. It's like, um, and, but, but I read that and I was like, facts, facts, facts. You, you like, and, and so I guess, then the, then the Tangang shill would be, well, imagine that you're in the most legitimate community with the most talent and the most building and the most legitimacy and no sacrifices and no scamminess and no cabal and no and full transparency. I'm in, uh, I'm in as many Tangang chats as I can possibly be in. And I have never seen anything in any of those um, chats where I'm like, that's questionable, that's dodgy, like that, um, some like any shady shit at all, never, none, no, no, nowhere, nowhere. And and you know what? You know when, you know when Cookie was uh, Cookies was on a like a a DM doxing spree. He even doxed DMs of mine at the time. I was like, I don't agree with that shit. I don't agree with doxing people, and I don't agree with doxing their DMs, and and I don't do it, and I don't think it's the right thing to do. However. Something that positive that came out of that is everyone in the Tang Gang knows you don't go into some motherfuckers DMs and try and do some shady shit because that motherfucker's my cookies your ass. Like those mother motherfuckers that could cookies your ass and fucking blow your shit up. So there is there is full transparency and no back there's no back door dealings in the tang gang because everyone knows that cookies has set a fucking precedent that if someone's doing so his ethical justification at the time was if someone is doing something or some say like um, being a hypocrite or contradicting themselves between public and private or they're doing something uh, that is you know not that is not good or it's unethical or whatever then it becomes ethically acceptable to blow that person up, even if the method of doing it, i.e. doxing messages, not not addresses, um, is a gray area of, of ethics. Or in my, in my opinion, it's not even a gray area. Doxing, for me, doxing messages was always like a flat, no, not under, not under any circumstances for me. Um, so see how that, so, and that, that's just one, that's just one reason. Another reason is because another reason that people don't do it in the Tang Gang, that they don't try and do shady backdoor back dealing shit is because 
in my opinion, that they're actually legit, that they're actually G's and they're not trying to fucking scam people. So, but I'm just saying, if you were an outsider looking in, you don't know that, right? Like as in, you're, if you're new to the Tangang or you were looking in, you've got to assume, you've got to take an adversarial mindset. You have to assume that, you have to assume that this group of people is no different to anyone else on the internet. Everyone's trying to scam you. Everyone's trying to extract your economic energy. And so coming in with that assumption, then you can start to build these other theories of why, why is it? Why is it that the Tangang is fully transparent? Why is it that the, that the shit is uh, legit and actually works? So while everything has been going down, there were at least three, there were at least three, there were a handful of Tangang coins that held their dollar values, which actually means they were probably going, they almost certainly were going up in PLS. And then there were a few that just absolutely went off the chart fucking to the moon. Like, so, but, but, but we have to admit they were new, right? So when coins are new, it's easier for them to go up. There's no sellers. No one, no one holds it yet. Right. So it kind of has to go up. Is it dangerous for me to say that you almost have to go up? So hello from the Gold Coast. Lots of people are saying, oi, oi, am I chopping up? I think the feed was a bit fucked at the start. Um, so no shilling. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, ahoy is another one. Like ahoy is like another, it's kind of like a, um, it borrows from the, yacht community in terms of law and it also borrows from the uh board at yacht club in terms of your yacht so it's like a yacht club it's an ape yacht club project nft project that also kind of leans in pretty heavily with the yacht community and the tang gang so that's cool uh team rh yeah i've seen i've i've been seeing a lot of i've seen been seeing a lot of mofos um you know say that they are on RH's team uh, and for good reason, you know. So, um, Patias is amazing. Yep, agreed. So, yeah, so definitely two spookies in here. Fuck yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh wait, this is, these are, holy shit. That's the emoji set for the, for the four coins. Excluding, um, excluding spooky, excluding the spooky token. We will actually take a look. Let, let's start looking through these as I keep looking through the comments. But this, but this comment, I'm going to leave this comment up from Too Spooky because we're going to look at some of these coins. They are so. There's Dick with Butt. Dick with Butt. Thank fuck, we're back at the top. Someone made a copycat, so that's a fake Dick with Butt. This one on base, and uh, or at least we don't know who launched it. And at one point, it was like climbing the ranks of being shown at the top, even though the original Dick with Butt, which is on Pulse Chain. So let's let's take a look at that. So anyway, these emojis that you're seeing up on the screen, that's Dick with Butt, the great the um the eggplant with the peach. So Dick with Butt, Dick with Butt. So that's one, that's one meme coin, but it took two emo emojis to say it. Notice that with these other ones, you can say them with literally just a single emoji. There's the pear. So yeah, Dick with Bar. I've got I've got AFK friends that aped this at the at near the top, and and they're like, "Is everything okay with with Dick?" Oh shit, it's gone and on oh, no, I'm just on a time frame that's too. So yeah, look, it it went up and it went down, but um, don't panic. It's so yeah, some of my AFK friends panicking about this shit over here. Let's get rid of this. Is it ever is it ever gonna go back up again? So it it had like a 60% dip, healthy bull market correction, especially for a coin this volatile, coin this new. And now it's now, by the way, no one bought this Pico top. I'm cherry picking for like to show worst case scenario, because one of one of my friends claims they bought the very top, and no, it wasn't NAS. So then it's it's like down 45%. So yeah, look, if you're a noob, then that would be pretty scary. It's like, I buy this coin that looks like it's got all the memetics and all the people supporting it. And there's memes all over the timeline and the whole Tang Gang looks like they're supporting it and shit like that. And I buy it and now, and now my shit has been chopped in half. But it's like, welcome to crypto. <laughs> 
That's all like, welcome to crypto. Like, if you if you think if you think that you are going to be in crypto and not have coins that are really fucking dope that go down, look at HOA. Look at HOA. This is HOA. The reason I'm making a video that is how to get how to get new people with Australian dollars directly into HOA. It, it's not even my biggest bag. Do you know why I chose HOA? It's like the, it has the most bullish case of any crypto coin anywhere. Like there is no other, there is no other cryptocurrency that has a more bullish overall case than HOA. And believe me, I have looked and believe me, I am in the space every day and aware of like as much as possible. I, I try to immerse myself in the crypto sphere as deeply and as extensively as possible without that shit getting creepy. And there literally, it, there just isn't. There just isn't not that I'm aware of. I am unaware of any coin, right? And so let's look at, let's look at the GOAT. Let's look at the GOAT to see whether, oh, oh, what's that? It didn't just it didn't just dip more than dip dick with butt. It's still down there. So if the greatest coin, what's what's a uh, what's a synonym for a crypto asset that starts with O? Because I want to put it into the GOAT acronym. Fuck it, whatever. So if the greatest crypto, if the greatest cryptocurrency of all time, in terms of bullish case, in terms of bullish case, it's I'm not I'm not commenting on HOA from any other respect other than a, the bullish case that can be made. I'm not talking about the tech. I'm not talking about which chain it's on or any of that shit. I'm not I'm not debating proof of work versus proof of state. None of that shit. None of that shit. For net bullish case, you will not find or I challenge you to go on it. And if <laughs> yo, if you find one, DM me immediately with a motherfucking contract address. If you find something that, but legitimately, and obviously I'm going to have to do some checks because now I'm probably going to get my DMs filled with people being like, oh, tangent, fucking this, this tangents Lambo coin just launched. And it's, it's definitely got a more bullish case. It's it, HOA, HOA is fruit. This is supercars. How can it even compare? Um, and so I, I don't want that. In fact, in fact, don't even DM me. Don't even DM me. I know that I know that I know that you're not going to be able to find a more bullish case. So no, but jokes aside, if you think you've found a more bullish case in HOA, I actually do want to know about it. So so yeah, it's like, okay, the goat dipped, the goat dipped, the goat of bullish cases dipped two-thirds of its value from all-time high in dollars, right? A lot of this is because. PLS shut the bed, right? <clears throat> PLS shut the bed like nearly 50%. So you could argue that nearly all of this is PLS's fault. But you know what the Tang Gang doesn't do? The Tang Gang doesn't make motherfucking excuses. The Tang Gang takes personal responsibility. The Tang Gang has a little thing called personal accountability. The Tang Gang has a little thing called integrity. The Tang Gang has a little thing called conviction the tang gang has a little thing called not being a fucking child when it comes to their crypto journey and so let's go back to these other coins that people are aping into real hard so dick with butt no problem dick with butt what a banger the memes are banger i i, I look on the timeline every day look the health check the health check for HOA and the Tang Gang, you go and look at Cookie's fucking Twitter profile or handle Orange Gooey, assuming you're not blocked. And if that PFP is still a fucking neckbeard orange punk drinking orange juice, you're all good. Similar with dick butt, I just go on the timeline. Do I see memes about dicks and butts? Yes, good. We're good. We're still good. So. That's the little sanity check that I like to do. What's the next one? Pair. So this is a Rick Ross. <clears throat> this is a Rick Ross. And you know what? 
this entire show's purpose is to show gr green dildos, but sometimes people like it when there's coins on a dip. Fuck, man. Come on. Dick, Dick, uh, Dick Screener has been... Dick Screener has been doing this a lot to me lately. Okay. <clears throat> While that's freaking out, I'll tell you guys that I, I legitimately wanted to do a stream every day. And so the last stream that I did, I was like, that was easy. I'll just do a stream every day. That night while I was asleep, and it was probably daytime, but you know, night for me, the computer that I stream from decides to stop working. So I admit the universe immediately said, no, no, no do not stream every day, right? So, but maybe, maybe now I'll stream every day. Maybe now I'll stream every day. So here's Pear. Yeah, so some of my, my some of my AFK friends, see, look, this, this chart, this chart, because it went up so much on the first day, it, I'll just go to an hourly chart. Even on, an, even on an hourly, look at that. Like it went up in the first hour. And like, so do you guys think, do you guys think that this chart is not going, and by the way, this is just a question. I'm just asking questions. I'm not telling you what's going to happen. I'm asking a question. Do you guys think that this is not just going to turn into like a massive fucking bowl pattern where it just goes down and finds a bottom and then just fucking goes all the way back up to new all-time highs. And then when it breaks new all-time highs, goes directly to the fucking moon. Huh. Is that a new type of arrow? If if not, then I've been missing out. So do do you guys not think that is not gonna maybe not happen? I don't know, guys. Add some comments. Add some comments about whether you think that might happen or may, might not happen. I don't I don't know. So in anyway. Um Typically how people have been running these plays, I think is they try to buy it early and then add into some full range LP. And then they're just loving all of this shit. They're just loving, just making free money as they, because, well, well, there's like, actually, holy shit, look at that. Oh, by the way, the important thing about all these coins is liquidity is fully locked. So it's like, you can't get, you can't get rugged by, um, you can't, well, you can't get rugged because it's like a hundred, nearly hundred percent or nearly hundred percent of all these tokens just go straight into the LP and gets locked. So it's like the, it's, it's relative. It's like, it's unruggable by all those ways that we talked about on the, that ha keep happening on those other chains. Um, there's no weird shit in the contracts, which is other ways that shit can rug. And, you know, you know, I was thinking that <clears throat> people are constantly like talking about like, oh, you know, how do we get adoption? How do we get ad adoption? And, and going and observing these rugs on the other chains did make me realize that these other chains have actually got pretty good tools for new people to try and like play these new coin launches like a casino. Whereas we don't have as much infrastructure and deck screener and, and other third party websites are not supporting us as much in the ways that would uh, help to have people to be able to like start doing kind of like although i mean you know do we really want the chain like bloated up with people's just continual meme coin launches until one takes off and then people obviously keep doing it being like hey if you missed if you missed the dick with butt mega gains on pulse chain the most performative meme coin to ever launch if you miss that we're doing dick butt 2.0 we're doing this other meme coin that's going to be the dick butt 2.0 this is like another bitcoin it feels like bitcoin in the early days you, <clears throat> all that shit it, it, it's never going away and and do we want to encourage it mm, maybe if it pumps pls oh shit i didn't know this that's really good. See, wait, see, this is the benefit of me doing a quick run through of what I was thinking about doing for the uh, normie onboard, like not on onboarding, exposing normies to HOA without the risk is someone has actually commented that the pulse chain settings 
are actually in MetaMask. I did. I actually didn't know that because I don't use MetaMask except for when I'm on ETHW. <clears throat> so speaking of ETHW, before we forget, we'll go and we'll just go and have a look at Yacht. So Yacht launched on ETHW. It's the second one in the list when I search for Yacht for me. So there's Yacht. So that holy. So wait, check this out. So the Yacht on ETHW is within. It's just over 2x. So it's within a 3x of getting parity to the yacht on Pulse Chain. And, and that was kind of that was kind of like one of the fun, like no roadmap, no expectations. But that was kind of one of the fun things that people started talking about in the yacht community was can yacht on Ethereum proof of work get parity before anything else, before Richard's tokens, before other things before PDI, before any other shit, these Chia coins, like, cause lots of Tangang coins have launched on Chia and have done quite well performance wise and hold a distribution and, and just fun. Like, <clears throat> like, and, and that's, that's partly why the yacht community and others decided to start launching coins on ETHW because the Chia launches were such a success. They weren't ever, they weren't ever seen as being um, scammy or trying to like leverage the reputation and brand of the Tang Gang on another chain. It was done in a way where it was trying to be more inclusive, trying to get the people on that chain excited about the Tang Gang, <clears throat> more participation, more sort of like, so that, <clears throat> so that people didn't necessarily have to like fully conform to like, oh, okay, I'm in the Tang Gang now. I have to do everything on Pulse Chain. So, um, so yeah, so the ETHW, like, so basically a collaboration between the Hex W, like, so the Hex on ETHW, the Hex, so the Hex W bros, the ETHW bros, and the Yacht community and the Tang Gang. And that's why I was like, and th that, that's why we shouldn't be surprised that this thing is just rocketed because it's like when you've got four communities that are all like absolute mad dogs, it's like, what do you, what do you expect the chart is going to, well, not the chart, but just like the fun and the, and the, like the ideas, like when someone's like, oh, maybe parody and shit like that. So that chart's looking dope. Um, and yeah. So anyway, so that's something fun. And, and, and the reason I thought of this ETHW stuff, I, I actually wasn't going to mention the ETHW coins. I wanted to make a separate video. That's another video that I'm going to be doing. See how easy it's going to be for me to do like videos every day. I want to do another video just on the ETHW meme coins and those things and those things um, like pumping their dials off and, and, and shit like that. People getting excited about that. And we could do another video about NFTs or specific NFT projects. But the thing that made me think of the, the ETHW thing is I still have to use MetaMask for ETHW because Rabia being... I... I can't say the word. I can't say the word because this channel's so family friendly, and so and so they are um, not adding ETHW yet, and I just I really wish they would. But look, rather than complain about it, over on ETHW we're putting the work in. We're putting the work in. We're asking protocols to come over. We're launching coins that are actually doing good price performance. Um, we're, we're, we we as a community are putting work in so that Rabbi will be like. Oh, like notice how Rabbi added Pulse Chain. There was no like political bullshit. There wasn't like, oh, someone told me it was a scam. It was just like, no, this thing's doing numbers. We have to add it, right? So we're trying to do the same thing with ETHW now that it's like, we're going to put the work in to prove to these guys that they should add it rather than just complaining that they're not adding it. <clears throat> you know what? We'll do a bit of both. So Mango Junkies in perfect. Oh yeah, the Ivanhoe tech. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yo, <laughs> I accidentally seeded that perfect, perfect, perfect shit into some of my AFK friends. And at first they were like, and they're like, they're like, can you stop doing this like thing where you say perfect? And I'm like, look, I'm just mimicking this guy in crypto. And I did it so much that one time that now they do it. I've stopped doing it. And, and one of our other friends noticed like a few weeks back, they were like, wait, have you noticed, have you noticed that you don't do it anymore, but everyone else can't fucking stop doing it that every time that they're, they're just like perfect, 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 perfect. And I'm like, yeah, sorry about that. 
I, I, I get, I get over shit real quick unless it's coffee or crypto. Um, yep. So, so tell everyone to lean in, tell everyone to lean in if they want the support of the Tang gang, if they're launching shit or whatever. Um, <laughs> lately, lately, a couple of people have been either claiming Tang gang and we're like, well, we never, we've never seen them in the crew, uh, or, or they're claiming that the Tang gang, like tried, <laughs> tried the Tang gang, the Tang gang's trying to destroy me. And it's like, who, who are you? What, what, like, what are you, what's your project again? Like, what are you, what, what are you talking about? So thousand, a thousand percent. I don't know what, oh yeah. So whatever that was, it must've been legit. If Ted is agreeing with me, good morning, Tang gang. Thank you. Thank you. Princess Hexonia. I think I've seen some good tweets from princess Hexonia. Um, and yeah, and a reminder to hit the like just joined what did i miss oh um a heap of coke some some uh spiritual mindset commentary which you could also categorize as cope some charting that was also cope uh some bullish sentiment on some coins we like also cope and um some q a some interaction with the audience so much cope um I guess you could just say cope, like as in the, the whole things, the whole thing has just been a big cope fest. Um, the whole thing has been disguised, a massive cope fest disguised with me legitimately having a fun time and commentating on some things that I'm actually, that are, to me are very interesting and or enjoyable to watch so part of the reason maybe why crypto can be so addictive is that even when even when things are not going like look at this chart that's not what i wanted that that's that's not what i you you guys think i wanted this you're crazy man man you crazy man you crazy if you think if you think i wanted this what what is what do you know what cookies calls this pattern? Do you know what cookies calls this pattern? It's the it's the mirror swap. He said he's like you know in a in a fucking software package for graphic design, there's a mirror tool. There's like a a, a, a horizontal mirror. This is the horizontal mirror stunt ramp. This is the horizontal mirror quarter pipe right? You could do tricks off this motherfucker if it was facing the other way around. Although actually you could argue that in the real world, charts are the only thing that can only go left to right, right? Time, time is the only thing. Time stops for no man. So who cares which way the half pipe is around? He could have just said, he could have just said quarter pipe. He could have just said, this is a mad quarter pipe. So but look, cookies analogies are so good. That's what you're that's what you're mainly missing out on. When if you're blocked by cookies and you don't get to see his shit and you don't get to come into a Twitter space and see that motherfucker just drop this fucking mind-blowing combination of storytelling, framing, narrative, um, c- pop culture references, uh, sporting analogies and just general fucking wordplay, you have no idea what sort of, and, and that's the reason, what's, I'll finish the sentence, what sort of position the Tang Gang is in, right? Like you have no idea the secret weapon that by the way, is an actual nuke. It, he, he can go nuclear and, and, I, and I applaud and encourage when he does. So, we're over here, effectively, like the the USA in terms of power, not in corruption, of crypto. We're basically the we're the USA of crypto over here. And I and I know there'll be people in the Tang Gang that are like, "Fuck, bro, this is a terrible." Like, please do not call us the USA of crypto, right? But I'm just talking about just in terms of being OP. 
I'm talking about the shit being unfair. I'm talking about having li a literal nuclear arsenal at a fucking, at a finger press, at a finger press away. That is how OP the Tang Gang is. And, and that's why I use Cookie's PFP as like a metric of like, do I need to be concerned about this uh, community and, and shit? And look, look, I, I don't want that to put too much pressure. It, so to me, it would be a, a, a warning that a warning flag to me that I need to go and check other things. I'm not, I'm not like, because I don't want him to feel like, oh, great. Now people are looking at this as a, as a signal. I can never change my PFP ever again, right? It, it, by the way, he would probably just spin up an alt. But the point is, the point is, to me, it's, that's, not, that's not me going and rushing over and pressing the button. That's me hovering my finger over the button and then going and doing a few final checks, calling up the president and being like, uh, hey, Cookies, are you like, are you still on Team Tangang or uh, is, is this thing a bust, right? So it's a signal. It's like, it's something, it's something that would cause me to go and do more. Well, let's not, let's not, let's not make a joke about this. It would cause me, it would cause me to go and actually do some research for the first time in my entire crypto journey. Time for me to go and do some due diligence. And this comment, even though it was from hours ago, that says, ha ha, is correct because everything I say is a joke. <clears throat> this comment that also says, no, that's also relevant. And this one that says, oh no. And this one says, tangents on the loose. And this one saying, shit's going down. And this one saying that, um, yeah, people are pretty ungrateful. So, <clears throat> Open your motherfucking eyes. And I know I said this was going to be a Q&A, but this has been great because even though these haven't been questions, they've prompted me to say some stuff that maybe, maybe it was time. Maybe it was time for me to lay down some, some hard hitting facts that are super, po uh, super positive, but not super popular, right? motherfuckers are looking at the wrong metrics and I was partly doing it as well. Motherfuckers were coming over here, including me. So I'm a, I'm a motherfucker. I, I fuck people's mums. Usually, usually it's, it's to upset them. Um, it's cause they've, they're, it's cause if they've done something, if they've done something that uh, has upset crypto or has fucked up crypto, if they've, so if they've taken on the crypto, if they've been a bad faith actor in crypto, um, or, or if their mum is hot, Right. So it's, it's usually one of those things. Right. So technically I'm also, I am, I'm just like you guys. I put my pants on one leg at a time. I'm also a motherfucker. Right. So these motherfuckers were coming over here and they were saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shut the fuck up, dude. None of that shit. You're looking at the wrong metrics, including me, including me. Why do you care about the fake volume on a fake chain? L open your eyes and look out the window. Is everything orange? Are you seeing motherfuckers build? Did you see the nine mil leaderboard come out? Like literally after all, after people being like, oh, really? Look, I, I also for weeks was like keen, keen to, <clears throat> I was keen for, for something to happen with relation to nine mil, just so that we could keep the news cycle hype going so that in a way that people remember that nine mil is going to be a key protocol on this chain, right? Motherfuckers have got short memories. So sometimes we need something fresh. It's if you, if you're just saying the same thing, like, Hey, nine mil is going to be really important because it's got V3 liquidity and that's going to be the mo like literally the most important decks and specu speculation is still the number one use case for crypto. This is absolutely critical for the people who are providing liquidity and for the people buying and selling it on the tokens. Um, this thing is supported by devs who have got, who are fucking giga chads and dope builders and have a sense of humor and 
engage heavily with the community and all of these other reasons why nine mil is going to be an absolute force to be reckoned with. <clears throat> People hear me say that for the ninth, 10th, who are we kidding? Third, fourth time. They stop listening. They're like, when, when token bro, when Lambo, when fucking, when, uh, like when moonshot, when green candles. And so it's good sometimes to have legitimate news that comes out that, that, that um, that people can get excited about people can get excited about and also get distracted from the parts of crypto that is maybe causing them some, um, you know, some stress. Oh, and by the way, remember that Deva said that there were lots of things that were coming out and they were sort of not coming out together, but they were, they were, they were all sort of like being worked on in parallel and were likely to come out sort of around the same time as each other. So if that's still the case, that means that this leaderboard, this draft leaderboard getting launched is actually a, uh, maybe an indication that some of these other things like marketplace updates, the, the token itself and other stuff that they've been working on could also be no expectations. Don't get weird if it doesn't happen within the next week, but I'm, I'm, of in, I'm, I'm alert. I'm alert. And you know what, when this stream ends, I'm going to go and have another coffee and I'm going to go and uh, I'll probably go on a Twitter space. Actually, I'll probably go on a Twitter space or start my own and do some version of like, uh, I like to do, I like to do late versions of the Tang Gang Twitter spaces. So we've got one called Tang Tuesday. This week I did it on fucking Thursday. I was like, well, the US is still Wednesday. I'm Thursday. Neither of those days is Tuesday. I might just gaslight some motherfuckers. So, oh yeah, Klaz. I'm applauding Klaz unironically here that um, I just said this to a AFK friend literally today. I'm like, bro. So I, I, I have friends that I have friends in the AFK world that are not crypto G's. So I've got three categories of friends, right? The crypto G's that they don't need to ask me questions like, oh, is it over? because they're, they're G's. Other friends that are just not in crypto at all. And so I don't have to answer any questions for them because they're not asking them other, or other than them sometimes asking, is it a good time to get into crypto? To which my answer is always yes. It's always yes, right? It's never a bad time to start at least looking at crypto and getting an idea of what the fuck is going on. So you get less wrecked when you actually decide to participate with economic energy. And the third category of my friends is um, ones that are, they're not crypto G's, but they have actually started doing crypto. And this, there, there's not many that I deal with this with. It's like less than five people in my life that, that ask me these sorts of questions. <clears throat> and, but this friend of mine has been asking the last few days, is it, is it over? Or, or saying, you know, he sends me the pulse chain price and says it's over. And so I <clears throat> remind him that literally two weeks ago or, or two, three, whatever it was, right? It might actually be longer now. Everything, remember that in crypto, everything's two weeks. But literally two weeks ago, he and I and others were celebrating and going and putting deposits down on Lambos and like, and so if you yourself have experienced, and this should be most of you have experienced that bipolarity in the, in the crypto markets that you then either have a response to or not in varying degrees. And you, uh, and you experienced it literally within the 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 history your your ability to remember the past even if you are a like a, a fucking everyday stoner 
do you not realize that it can just as easily go and flip in the other direction from where we are here? Especially when you go and look that the, the broader market is definitely in a fucking hyper bull where everything is rocketing. So, and, and like, and Bitcoin is perf performing perfectly for what we want with Altio. Oh my God. Oh my, Pr praise be to Bitcoin. Praise be to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, thank you for doing exactly what we need to be able to have an altcoin uh, run. For us to have alt season, Bitcoin is playing its part, motherfucker. Bitcoin is like, you know what? I've been fucking around. I've been having a laugh. I've been having ev making everyone think that, th that everyone needs to dump all their shit and that I'm the only asset. I've like, I've, 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 I think... I think I've converted enough of the Hex community into BTC Maxis. I think I've done enough to dispel a lot of these myth narratives that all of your garbage is the next Bitcoin, that, that it's going to be like, you know, that Bitcoin's like old tech, weak gain thing. I, I think I've literally curb stomped the fuck out of everyone, put the hammer down, old man getting up with the cane, but then using it to whoop the fuck out of you and every motherfucker that ever doubted him, I, I've, and I'm starting to get like, maybe I'm going to let other people have a win. Being literally just like having your foot on the throats of others is kind of uh, like what the government does. I don't really want to get that rep. So I'm just going to take my foot off the gas just a little bit, just enough for you guys to have some fun. And this motherfucker does exactly what I've been telling it to do up a bit sideways up a bit chill up a bit chill up a bit chill no big drastic moves in either direction and every time you go up prefer up over down and every time you go up chill that motherfucker's been playing ball that motherfucker's been playing ball. And that's why I, that's why I get the I get the disappointment. I get the disappointment. It's like the environment is perfect. The environment could not be better for things to pump. <clears throat> but every day that shit doesn't pump, and if you if you're seeing sentiment get worse, if you're seeing shit not pumping, prices going down, it actually is better. It's like it, it's 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 better, it's better for the long term. It's, it's better for the, um, for the chance to, for it to go really high. And, and, I, and I know people are probably sick of hearing it. And I'm, I'm getting impatient as well. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm bags packed, ready to go and, and getting fucking impatient. I want to go. I want, I want it to go. You guys know this. I wanted to go fucking months ago. I wanted to go months ago. So don't, I'm, I, this, this little monologue here is not supposed to sound like, oh yeah, I'm so, I'm fucking so happy when it doesn't do it. No, that is not what I'm saying at all. Every day that goes by that I don't like every time I wake up and pulse chain isn't like multiple X's up from where it is. I'm like confused. I'm like, say what? Like that doesn't, that doesn't add up. That doesn't add up. Did the wokes break math again? That, that shit doesn't add up. However, I'm also aware, aware that I am going to be rewarded for my patience. So the, it both can be true, right? I'm not actually being, I'm not being a hypocrite here. I'm not, I am not like these idiots that pretend that they are keen for this thing to go on longer and longer and longer. Don't lie. You're a fucking idiot. With, with, with a few rare exceptions, which obviously if you're listening to this either live or in replay, then you must fit into one of these categories of people that are not idiots, but, but go and say comments like this. Cheering for the fucking price to go down, it's code. In 99.99999% in of cases, it's actually code. Everyone who's got a big fuck off bag wants to see the price go up. That's what you want, right? Even if you don't even, like even if, you, your conscious, even if your conscious, conscious mind thinks that you're doing so well to sigh up yourself with cope and framing that you, that you're, can, you've convinced yourself. Yeah, no, I actually want it to go down. Your subconscious is like, fuck off, you liar. Fuck off, you liar. 
you are going to be happy as fuck when that shit is going up. Your subconscious knows it. Stop lying to yourself. <clears throat> right. Someone wants to know V1 or V2. I don't even know if Toos is still here. He's probably sick of hearing me, um, you know, just gaslighting everyone and, and trying to... Oh, here's an actual question. This one might be the first one. What do you think about Tangang and the infinite money glitch. I love that shit. I've been compounding mine. I've been compounding mine. Not every day. I, I don't do it every day, but at, at least every week. And, 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 and then actually, this was, this was kind of like a sentiment signal for me. Someone posted, someone posted in the Tangang main chat saying, I am accumulating on this infinite money glitch. I'm going in right now. These prices seem like a good dip for me. Uh, like to, to to me this is not my comment this is someone else right um so enigma yep so enigma's like has been let's just go on the daily yep way down holy shit i didn't even know this has gone down this much holy fuck but yeah so so enigma <clears throat> way down <clears throat> og way down, right? Both of them, both of them are basically are back to initial, um, like, like lows, like where the coin started out, right? And, and look, again, a lot of this, like, well, at least 50% of these drops is because pulse went down heaps, and they are built on top. And so someone was like, this looks good to me, I'm aping in, I, I, I replied, I think maybe David replied. And um, so a, cu a couple of people uh, replied and I, and by other, by the way, I agreed really strongly, but for some reason I didn't put like a really strong comment in the chat being like, yeah, fuck yeah. Like it's a great time. Like I, I was just like, um, I think I just like agree. And then lots of people didn't even reply. And it's like, for such a powerful, for such a powerful um, component of what the Tangang does with the circular economy, it's cookies pin tweet for fuck's sake. It's Cookie's pin tweet is this idea of the infinite money glitch where you get these two cryptocurrencies, OG and Enigma, and you pair them up in a nine millimeter V2 LP. And then you go to either the Pussycat Farms or the Enigma Diamond Mines. The Diamond Mines have a, have a higher APR, by the way, um, and, uh, and, and get yield on your... Uh, on that thing, which is, which by the way, you can compound back into that pool. That's the, that's the very light version of how it works at, at these sorts of prices. Yeah. To me, that's, to me, it's a no brainer. Now, obviously prices can keep going down. Pulse can go down. This can go down. And so there might be an even cheaper point at some point, but as in like cookies said once <clears throat> when prices have gone down a lot, by definition, that is a buying opportunity. Is it guaranteed that you're going to make money off that play? No. Is it guaranteed that it's that that's the giga bottom and it's only ever going to go up from there? No. Is it guaranteed that it's going to go up again ever at all? No. no. Like none of those things are guaranteed. Is it a buying opportunity? Yes, by definition, because it's cheaper than it was the day before, the week before, or, or, or whatever. If if you liked it and you were thinking about buying it when it was going up, clearly now. If you'd, you, you're getting a better deal than if you had bought it when it was pumping and everyone was FOMOing it. So definitely, de therefore, buying opportunity, get more tokens. So one of the things that you've got to look at is, um, oh, and, and, and that's another point that came up with this friend of mine. So his questions of, is it over? It's so over. O obviously, that's no. The answer, the answer to that is no, it's not over. Um, then his other question was, um, should I pull some of these LPs that um, I've, I've, he, he's like, he's like, he's added these LPs, some of them are fairly sizable. And he's saying, should I um, pull these L LPs out while the, so I say it's a Tangang coin and, and uh, a stable a Tangang coin and PLS or something, right? And so he's like saying, well, the price has gone down. So now I've got more of these Tangang coins, which I wanted, right? He's like, I want these Tangang coins. I want, I want as many of the, I want more. He, he's actually, he's actually gone harder than I expected. Like a quite, like for some of the shit, I'm pretty sure he's either whale or, or, 
heading to heading towards accumulating whale positions. And he's like, I, I genuinely want more of these tokens. And so now that the price is low, should I pull these LPs out so that if the prices go rocketing up, then um, when like, and, and so maybe that's part of the reason why he stresses a bit because maybe he's maybe he's like, overexposed for how much experience and wisdom he has within the crypto market um because he's gone in pretty hard but, but anyway that's a different that's a different thing he's like if I, if I pull these lps right now then it protects me from losing the tokens if the prices go mooning um and then i can get, i'm closer to my goals of like how much i want to accumulate of these tokens right like hoa and og and 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 that sort of thing right and um he's a big fan of that pussycat token so pussy pussy og HOA, he went in hard on dick with butt. Um, he, he's, he's probably got all of them, but the ones that he yacht, he goes in hard on yacht. So like, he he loves them all. He holds them all in, in reasonable scale, but the ones that he's going in, he's been going in super hard are like, uh, are some of these um, Enigma. Enigma, OG. I think he, he must like the, um, he, he must like the yield farms and want to support those yield farms by buying their tokens and, and then, and that sort of shit, right? I said, you can do whatever the fuck you want. However, you might want to keep those LPs in place until this nine millimeter leaderboard thing gets sorted out. Because if it does end up, like we, we probably know that it's never going to be a hundred percent perfect. There's never going to be everyone being like, oh, this is exactly correct for my situation. Like, do you remember when other people have done airdrops? I even, I missed a major airdrop that was based on the sack list and it was pro rata and I'm like a reasonable size wallet. And so the amount of this particular airdrop that I was supposed to get would have been large, right? So I'm like, oh, a pro rata airdrop based on the PLS sack things. Cool. I'm going to get heaps of this token. And then I got nothing. I got nothing. And I decided I didn't even tell them about it because one, I didn't want to dox this wallet to them. And that that particular team, there are claims now that they are bad actors. So I'm especially glad I didn't dox my, like that link between me or my or my pseudo identity on, on Twitter, my on crypto and that particular wallet, that of the SAC wallet, especially because it was like my largest SAC wallet. So I, I just don't want those motherfuckers knowing. And so, but but the other side of it was, of why I didn't complain is they had made it clear there's error. If there's errors in the way that we've done this, we don't give a shit. Like don't even bother complaining. Right. And and I think maybe nine mil will should eventually get like to make their best attempt to get these lists correct. And then say, look, when we we've done our best to get them correct, but there's almost certainly going to be some stuff that's not because it's dealing with the blockchain with a with an imperfect explorer and dealing with quite a lot of complexity people adding and subtracting lps buying and selling this is not this is not just going and looking at a holder list so if we can't get if we can't get holder list airdrops flawless within projects if you guys think this nine mil leaderboard thing is ever going to be like perfected where every buy and sell an lp and and nft that you're holding is going to get be absolutely correct you are fucking dreaming right like you, i've got you you are going to be coping i'm go, i've got bad news for you you're going to have a rough time so um i i think it's important to probably get the nfts definitely correct because those are the things that people uh paid for everything else is like just actions that they took and so it's not as it's not as painful for people to be like oh i bought this other random coin and thought I was going to get points. Who cares? You got the coin. Like this was just a bonus you were going to get. But if someone's like, I specifically bought this NFT to get this airdrop and then I didn't get the airdrop, I can see why that is more complainable. So my strategy, and I'm not on the 9mm team, but I would just be like, get the leaderboard, do as much as you can to get it correct. Make sure the NFT and shit is legit and then just fucking send it with a disclaimer saying, it might be wrong. Shut the fuck up if it is. Don't complain because we won't be fucking... Um, we won't be like, good night, Detroit. There will be no encore. So money glitch. Yeah, the money glitch going strong. 
Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's um, there, there was some news that came out of Tetra that I'm quite excited about. But but look, I I've got to the point with I've got to the point with all these protocols, and this is not aimed just at things that are outside of the Tangang. I do it also to things that are inside the Tangang where rather than getting excited every day, like, oh my God, this marketplace update might happen where I'll be able to do put blanket orders over all of the NFTs in a collection. No, I'll get excited about it once it's launched. And so Tetra has got some cool shit that they've said is coming out soon, but it, it, it's it been soon for a, a, quite a while now. And so I, I'm, I'm kind of like, um, and they're things that I actually need in my in my everyday experience in terms of like their limit orders, gasless limit orders, um, and and this sort of stuff. I think would be really cool. But just like my Mount Gox Bitcoin, I'm reserving. Some, if if I get excited every day about something that doesn't happen for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, when it actually happens, am I going to have the energy to go and do burnouts in my fucking Lambo? Still, yes, but I would prefer to conserve that energy for other things, other times anyway. So that's cool. But yeah, definitely hit me up. Um, hit me up and also hit the Pussycat team up whenever you guys have got news and shit to go into the Tangang because um, they've got that telegram with the news. Um bitcoin and other copies still yeah uh proof of work bitcoin yeah i did notice that actually the proof of work bitcoin it's like it's obviously not worth like anything near what a bitcoin's worth i think it might be only worth like eight dollars or something oh that reminds me there was this, i wanted to start wrapping this up but um the the the, the bitcoin on proof of work chain oh I'll, you guys I'm going to do a completely separate video just for the, there's so much stuff going on there and things that I want to comment on meme coins that have been launched that are performing like fuck outperforming fucking everything. The price of ETH W is even going up. I don't even know if ETH W is on here. It's probably on trading view actually. So yeah, like um, proof of work, the Ethereum of proof of work has been fucking going up. Like look, oh no, that's Bitcoin. Oh, cool. Bitcoin's doing the slightly up. Remember, don't remember to do the chill. Don't you forget to fuck. Don't you fucking forget to do the chill. Yeah, look, ETH W is over five bucks again. Baller. Baller. Out, outperforming PLS, outperforming everything on the, all these other layer one chains. We're, we're fucking crushing it over on um, on ETH W at the moment. And it's good. It's, it's good and it's getting better. And and look, there's a lot of people that say to me, they're in the Tangang and they're like, oh man, I, I, I want to get involved in this in the culture for the culture, like for the culture, but I just, I'm not ready yet. Like, as in, I, I don't want to do it. I, I, I don't have the, I don't have the time or energy to come over to that change just yet. I'm like, that's cool, man. Like, I'll remind you again when, when we're doing se such serious numbers that you need a little reminder that to, to come over those, some of the bags that you got from Tangang airdrops, um, the, the fork itself that shit's all waiting for you bro that shit's all waiting do, you don't 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 you worry don't you worry we will take care of business over there and build that shit up and your assets will literally just be sitting there waiting that's that's one of the beautiful things about both pulse chain and ethereum proof of work it'll never it no one will ever be like fuck i'm too late to this shit i completely faded that chain no you didn't no you didn't You've got assets on that chain, whether you like it or not. So when, whenever those chains start to do numbers, there's better potential for people to come over and have a play than chains that only did airdrops to specific sets or they did do no airdrop at all or they're just VC bullshit or they, they did some other weird crap, right? So um. I'm going to make a dedicated video about what's been going on over there at some point. And we'll just continue to chop up the fucking game. Some people don't understand. Um, I saw this tweet where this chick was talking about cooking and it was, she had the chart and she's like, yeah, the price keeps cooking or something. And I was like, yeah, that's not really how you use that word. However, maybe fuck it maybe fuck it like maybe with a word like that maybe people can just fucking 
just start using it for other shit that's not really how it like just fuck it like the word fuck it's versatile to start using it in everything so so maybe i'm allowed to say um what was i saying about that chain that eth w yeah we're just yeah we're just just fucking let them cook let them cook so that's eth w fuck that noise um fuck that noise you guys don't you guys i don't even care whether you guys are paying attention anymore so by and by the way we flipped we flipped ethereum classic did i tell you guys about that so ethereum proof of work when the tang gang launched yacht onto ethereum proof of work i was watching that shit every day ethereum proof of work was down here third last and by the way that's a test net so being third last you might as well be fucking last right it's the podium the podium for losers now we're never we're rare this is rare event that we're even in the bottom 10 and we often flip ethereum classic for volume so it's like what you don't think in a bull market that we're going to be able to rev that shit up and get you know chandler guau's probably going to fucking come back out and be like yeah fucking outperforming eth he he he's the best at shilling that shit in terms of relative performance so anyway Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Pulse chain. Let's look. Um, wouldn't it be nice and profitable if everyone could simply focus on the only four tokens that actually matter? Yeah, look, that's never going to happen though. Like it's it's unreal. It's an unrealistic. If unfortunately, because I, I, there was a time when I would have liked that as well in terms of where they were heavily my only bags except for Bitcoin. And it's like, if that little fantasy had come true, then I, it would have benefited me financially to a great extent. But it's like, what do you think is more likely to happen, right? People who are, who are relative noobs, and let's be honest, like the majority of the Hex community, heaps of the Hex community was new to crypto. So they had never experienced seeing other coins go up while their coin is going down and doing the like chasing pumps, new shiny things, all that bullshit. So a lot of that economic energy just got rinsed. And it's like, what do you think you've got a better chance of doing? Convincing everyone to behave the way that you want them to behave or assuming that people will behave in their own self-interest which by the way is a foundational concept of cryptocurrency the industry you so it's adversarial mindset and building systems that everyone can benefit from even when everyone is acting in their own self-interest so if your coin if the if your investment thesis or the performance of your coin requires one of these things to not be true so that and that's why there was someone i was arguing in a twitter space once i'm not even going to name this guy until he actually comes out of hiding he was saying i'm going to launch a coin and just and by the way i'm paraphrasing i'm going to launch a coin and then i'm just going to tell everyone in my community that it's not nice to dump on other people and we're going to be doing like a like a happy version rather than a sad version. And so that then no one will dump and then the price can only go up. And my response was, did you just hit your head really hard against something either deliberately or by accident? Because the idea that you can create a culture that is going to have people behaving against their own self-interest is like yeah maybe like maybe in the tang gang maybe maybe there might be people in the tang gang who are doing things that is not for their self-interest and maybe in the like maybe in the bitcoin community maybe but note that you don't have to rely on it you it's not required it's not required Crypto does not require you to psyop, physically threaten, like it does not require you to take any form of tactic or strategy to convince other people 
to act against their own self-interest for the performance of your bags. And, and this is not supposed to sound like an attack on whoever said this. Uh, Academaciated. Academaciated. Is that a combination of academic and um, emaciate, emaciated or whatever, or whatever. So, so the point here, so this is not, a, this is not an attack on you. Um, and, and actually this little winky face, this emoji that you've got at the end, maybe it's, um, maybe you are actually taking the piss out of people who have said that. Um, I'm, I'm unsure. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether your statement is, um, literal or sarcastic. The point is, the point remains the same. And the point is, uh, you have to armor yourself in your investment thesis and your actions and your your cope and your strategy and and just the shit that comes out of your mouth, like how you interact with the community. Anytime anyone comes into a Twitter space or any meeting, grouping, like meeting of minds where someone suggests or either directly or indirectly that 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 all we need to do is get everyone to agree to behave a certain way dude you you're not gonna make it like you literally like drop that idea immediately or get the fuck out of crypto those are your only two options for survival that that does not work that does not work in, in fact it makes it worse because the threat actors will be like, oh, yo, that community, that community genuinely thinks that no one's going to dump on them. Let's like, let's utilize that shit to run the chart up and then dump on them. Like it's what, like you're, you're announcing to the world that you're just bending over waiting to get fucked. So, so don't do that dumb shit. Try and, you know, you know, you know, a lot of, I like, I like shooting off the dome and usually my shit's pretty flawless in, in terms of like thoughts that I'll come up with on the fly. However, it's probably sound advice to run your shit through an AI. If you, especially if you're going to come into a Twitter space multiple times and say the same shit. Maybe just take five minutes to save everyone else's time and just ask an AI, am I retarded thinking this? What would be the possible counter arguments as to why this won't, why this wouldn't work? Like test your own thesis using an AI and then maybe at least at a minimum, don't come in and speak with certainty because the AI has just given you examples of why that shit might not work the way that you think it works. And then everybody wins. Everybody wins. You're, you're immediately more open-minded just in the fact that you took the time to question your own shit. You're already, you're already having a small win and a small step towards open-mindedness that you are admit you're, you're admitting or you're entertaining the possibility that you are not 100% certain about something that cannot possibly be known by definition. It's a crypto market. So more than regular shit, more so than regular shit out in the world, that the non-digital world, this is more uncertain. So let's go here. <laughs> if cookies blocks you publicly beg for forgiveness and ask to be unblocked, that is bad advice. That is bad advice. The correct answer to that question is be fucking awesome. Be fucking awesome every day until he either directly or indirectly sees something that you have done that is awesome and forgetting who you were because spoiler alert he never knew who you were he he never knew who you were so there's not even anything for him to weigh up and be like um should i uh he did do this and but this is pretty dank mm, should i block uh leave him blocked unblocked no he's like 
I don't remember who the fuck that is. And I don't remember why they're blocked because this person's so insignificant to me, which by the way, is everyone that's ever been a hater. That is how I see their profiles. I have no idea who the fuck they are, right? Like, I, honest, honestly, honest, that is 100%. That is truthful, right? That is fucking like, what, what's, what's the Richard Hart one? Truthfully. I like, I like when Richard Hart says truthfully, when he's trying to, when he's trying to like, really highlight that what he is saying is not um, like half weak commentary that, that he like, you know, that he maybe believes he's like, I'm, I'm telling you right now that this is, this is a true statement. So um, these people, are the, 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 the haters, even though there's so few of them these days, the, this very tight, oh, so <laughs> they did, dude, they disappear. Like, so, the haters of even like a month plus ago, I actually just don't see their shit. Like they're just, they're just not there anymore. Right. Like they, they're, they're too hot. They're too scared. They're too scared to go and say shit because now we're armed. Like there, there's like, cause there are people in the Tang gang who do keep receipts just like Hexaco used to be really good at keeping receipts. So I know that if there's a hater, even though I legitimately just have no idea who this fucking idiot is, even if they've got a high follow account and people like, don't you remember blah, 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 blah. Like he was the guy who did this, this, this. I'm like, I like, you might as well be speaking a different language to me right now. I have no idea who you're talking about. But I know that there will be people in the Tang gang be like, hey, if you want to completely fucking destroy this guy's rep, here's like a hundred images of things that you, you just, just pick one of these hundred images at random and you could literally just use that. You don't need to say any words. Just take that image and reply directly to their post. And they will crawl. They will scamper. They will scurry back into the hole that they came out of and go silent for another few months. Um, literally just any of these hundred images. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about how to get unblocked by cookies. Just be a good person. Like just be, just behave with integrity, be ethical, um, don't be an idiot and do dank shit until one day he indirectly or directly sees the dank shit. And he's just like, I've got no idea why I blocked that person. Unblock, done. It's that, it's that simple. It's that simple. Probably memeing, probably creating dank memes is, and, and putting them on the timeline is probably, uh, is, yeah, it's probably the, most effective way to make part one of that statement happen. I see opportunity. Yeah, I see opportunity. I see opportunity. Nothing will be the next Bitcoin. Bingo. Crypto is a long-term investment. Bingo. This mother... Yo, 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 yo. Follow this motherfucker. Follow this motherfucker. That's three for three. What's the opposite of three strikes and you're out? What's the motherfucking opposite of three strikes and you're out? Look at this. One, is, is it a home run? Um, I see opportunities, scoop, scoop, scoop. That was fucking knocked it out of the park once. Nothing will be the next Bitcoin, knocked it out of the park again. And then crypto is a long-term investment, knocked it out of the park a third time. And they're like, why is this motherfucker still on the fucking pitch, mound, whatever, mound, like whatever it is where the batter stands, knocking these things out of the park. Shouldn't he have like just run and fucking done a home run by now? Like, is, is he allowed to just keep fucking hitting these balls? In fact, I don't even know the rules of baseball. Like, so maybe, are you allowed to do that? I know in cricket, you can. In cricket, you just take, you just keep going. If you're, if you are fucking, if you're bossing it in cricket, if you're cooking, they just give, they just leave you in the kitchen. So hopefully baseball is also like that. And what else have we got here? Oh, this is a great point. This is a fucking great point. I'm I am literally unable to end this stream while you guys are just you guys are just fucking just bringing blocks of wood and entire fucking jerry cans full of kerosene and just a- anything that's fucking flammable. You guys are bringing it over, making it so easy for me, bringing it to the fucking fire and just being like like literally like leaving it so close to the fire that it's about to just burst into flames and just be an even bigger fire that's just even less controllable. 
and then just offering for me to just keep cooking. So those calls of hoping for prices to go down have dwindled away. I have noticed this as well. The people who were like, oh yeah, another fucking price dump. Yeah, boy. Yes, this is my favorite shit. My onboard's getting even better prices. They're definitely not messaging me and calling me every day with fucking death threats and 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 like tears and and fucking yelling at me and screaming at me and calling me a loser and idiot for getting them in to an asset that only goes down. That's definitely not what's happening. They are stoked to be getting even lower prices. Let's go, DCA. I'm get I'm averaging my cost down, baby. Yes, I wake up. RH coins down again. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Dollar cost just getting my average cost down. On boards, loving my shit. They are happy. That dude, you're lying to yourself, bro. You are, you are, you are either what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing it wrong. Stop fucking dancing like an idiot. Stop singing. We have a serious fucking problem here with reputation and fucking reflexivity and you coping in this delusional way that makes it sound like you're happy for the price to go down is not helping anyone the least of which is yourself. So it's really good that that shit's not happening anymore. That shit was fucking crazy. That shit was fucking like just, I I get it. I get it. I get it. It's called code. It's called code. It's not, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I don't get it. Being like, I don't get it. It's so confusing. Why would why would anyone why would anyone publicly fucking cheer their bags going down? That makes no sense. Of course it makes no sense, right? However, we understand the mechanism by which people do things which initially on first third person observation, you're like that motherfucker's crazy. And then it's like, "Hey, the reason they're doing it is cuz they're down so bad that they have to pretend that they like it. It's the only way that they're not going to go and fucking like um, quit the game, right? They're hanging on to staying in crypto by literally the edge of their nail. So it's not even the full nail. They don't, they don't even have the full nail, just, just a tiny fucking, the last, the last few fucking molecules of the edge of the nail is all they've got hanging on for dear life. They're hodling, they're hodling. And, um, and so there's none of that. And you know, and you know what, the reason that the reason that that has gone away is it's probably multiple things. So it's like the people that were doing it, it, like I said, it was like their last form. It was the, for them, it was their last possible code. And so when it didn't play out and shit just kept going down, they, they just fucking left. Um, they, listened to one of my videos and they were like, yeah, that's pretty fair commentary. I do sound insane. I'm going to stop doing that. Um, or they, uh, what's, I think I, I was thinking of one other one. I can't remember, but there, there was, there's probably like, so, oh, like they might've just sort of blocked anyone who disagreed with them and was pointing out the like the reality of the situation that eventually we need prices to go up. Otherwise we're fucked. And so <clears throat> Oh yeah, I also didn't understand that question. Oh wow, that was a long time ago. Uh oh. Uh oh. Does that mean we've got to like I'm just gonna have to skim read the rest of these. Yeah, so you can check your pog. You can check your POG um, points on that same link. So you go to the Pussycat uh, Tangang announcements, Telegram, and all the links are in there. And then you can check your shit. All the, all the 9 mil, it'll be pinned in the 9 mil chat. It's probably pinned in the Tangang chat. 
if you don't trust the the Pussycat announcement links, then anywhere you go will have those links for you to check your shit. I really appreciate this comment. And guys, I actually am, I'm committed. Like, well, I'm not committed to, but I'm, I, I'm keen to stream more frequently. And it's just that we just need the universe to play ball, man. We just need the universe to, um, to, to play ball on that shit. Ash just bought another 3K, but I'm not sure of what. Oh, of, of Pulse. Is there still liquidity to swap Hex to ETH W? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Not heaps, not, there's not, it's not heaps, but it's still one of the most, it's still one of the most active coins, active communities, active um, and, and liquidity and all that shit is Hex on that chain. But obviously these new these new Tangang meme coins that have launched have gone fucking ballistic as well. They were they were like top they were topping the fucking like see how you've got these this shit here where you like look you rank by like gains and volume and transactions and shit. For the first couple of days they were like topping that shit. And I'm sure I'm sure it's just gonna, you know, come and go. So Right. Um, not sure about some of the, like, I don't know what some of those comments mean, probably because they're talking about old shit that's from earlier in the thing. Um, Two Spooky Saints, Crow's the best fork token. Oh, yeah, in terms of parody. Uh, yeah, some people are on the Crow team. We've got all these different teams that are like trying to do parody in different ways and shit like that. And, and look, some of this stuff's a little bit unfair because it's like, okay, on ETHW, it doesn't take as much economic energy. And there's like, there's whales over there that were just desperate to ape into like meme coins and shit because they had no tickets to speculate on. So the fact that Yacht Yacht is probably going to be one of the first coins anywhere to get to get the peg. But the race is on, right? Like Too Spooky is a big fan of trying to get Crow to peg. Um, you've got like the P-Dye bros, they want that shit to peg. Um, there's the Yacht communities doing Yacht Yacht. And, and by the way, it's like chain, there's chain to chain, right? There's like pulse to Chia for some of the Tangang tokens, pulse to ETHW, there's pulse to um, ETH, original ETH. There's, you know, some people bridging in from other chains and shit. So it's, it's an interesting competition. Like one of these coins is going to peg, even if it's like unfair, one of them's going to peg. Yachts within two point something X of pegging. Like at some point, one of these motherfucking things is going to peg and I'll be interested to see what community is first and how much they are able to flex that to inspire other communities to step up and peg their shit, right? And, and maybe even then Hex and shit. Like, you know, we get some of those bigger coins. That's been a really good play so far, okay. Uh, the battle. Pitcher is on the mound, okay. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's good that people didn't keep flooding comments probably because they thought that I wasn't responding to them, but cheers, bro. I still stake hex on ETHW. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. So you, it's exact same code, same code, same code, um, different, different holder distribution. You could argue, and this, this was something that was said about, so Pepe, right? Like, let's pull these coins up as we talk about them. Shit. I never brought up why. I still got to do that. This video is going forever. So I will say this about, so people said about Pepe was a lot of the supply was with Binance and they knew, okay, Binance has got, they have to choose between not touching it, which means it's effectively like pseudo locked. So that amount of the supply pseudo locked on Pulse Chain, which is great for tokenomics, or they come over to Pulse Chain and access those coins which opens them up to all sorts of legal issues, like the users being like, hey, motherfucker, that's our coins, or just a, it being a pseudo, like, oh, Binance is willing to interact with Pulse Chain, like an like a anti-gatekeeping tactic for people on Pulse Chain, right? So effectively a win-win for us they, they, and a lose-lose for them. They can't, they can't win. We either get those tokens locked up in the Pepe community or we get like, ability to flex that Binance has come over to play with Pulse Chain and, and encouraging their users to sue the shit out of them and all that shit, right? So win-win for us. A similar sort of thing has happened with Hex. If you consider 
Well, if the OA and the, if the OA address isn't playing on Ethereum proof of work, then lots of coins that claim that they wanted to be, we want to launch something that's the same as Hex because Hex is so awesome. We want to launch Hex, but without the OA, guess what? Maybe ETHW is, he is Hex without the OA. Some could then extend that logic to say, well, isn't that the same on Ethereum? Where if, if, if. Now, I don't think, I'm not going to get into that conversation, but there is a logical path that you could argue where you could say to someone, well, if you believe that the founder has abandoned that asset, then isn't that a good thing like for the holder distribution? But particularly on ETHW, the, the controllers, anyone who has the admin, anyone who has the keys to the OA, I doubt they even think about ETHW. It's so it's such a non-event, right? They've got bigger problems to worry about. So that's an interesting, that's an interesting take that I hadn't thought of previously, or maybe someone had brought it up in the ETHW chat and I like put it somewhere in my mind. So maybe that's not my original thought and that I'm like, you know, pulling out someone else's comment from earlier. Because we we did talk a lot about these sorts of things when the chain first came out. Because remember, Pulse Chain didn't exist. So it was an exciting time. And so we it's probably a discussion that we've had in the past in terms of like, Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. At, back then, if it was early, we wouldn't have even known what the OA's attitude was at all. So let's, let's fucking light it up. And that was the whole, yeah, so that was the whole commentary on Pepe and uh, Hex on ETHW. We're covering a lot of ground here. And by the way, like some of these things, and this is why I get so excited to tell when people say, oh, I don't want to use ETHW. I get so excited to tell them, man, don't worry. Like you're not got you, you're, you're not going to miss this out. You're not going to miss out. Even if you're not participating, you're participating, whether you like it or not. I get so excited by that idea because it's like when, in my opinion, we haven't had an alt season yet in this bull market. We have not had, we have not had an alt season where things are like actually breaking people's minds compared to what their expectations are. So there are coins that have been performed really well. But a majority of people or like, there'd be quite a few people that would just be like, oh yeah, I've seen meme coins do that before. Like, oh yeah, well, that's to be expected. It's a bull market. Like that no one has been like, oh my God, I can't believe what I'm, I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe my eyes. This thing is just breaking the laws of physics in front of me, in front of us. That hasn't happened yet. And that's just one reason. There's multiple reasons why I, I claim that we have not had a proper alt season yet, right? I know there'll be people arguing against me being like, oh no, this coin over here is like, yeah, yeah, but no, like that doesn't count. Like if you've just got like a handful of coins that are popping off real hard, like that, that's not, that's not alt season. You'll, you'll fucking know about it. You'll know about it when it really happens. So all of these little sub communities and shit like that, they're going to be like, fucking celebrating like fuck, right? So the idea that people sort of know that there's a community over there that is another, uh, it's like another lottery ticket for me that if that succeeds and does really, really, really well, then I'm not going to be coping. I'm going to be joining. And that that community is always welcoming and is like, so like the Tang Gang is just like, I can... It's like when I see that shit winning, I can go and have fun with that community regardless of whether I hold the tokens or not. And um, it's just dope because you know these things are going to be banging. Like these things are going to be, you won't know where to look. You will not know where to fucking look. Like you will not know, you will not know which community to go and celebrate with when alt season comes. If, if alt season comes. Yeah, and like, so someone earlier made a comment about like the sentiment and how easily it can shift. And it's like, and I was talking about the bipolarity of the market and the sentiment and that sort of thing. And it's like, do you, do you, Crypto7 told me this. He said, cast your mind back to, like, not to me, he said to the viewers, he's like, cast your mind back to before Pulse Chain launch. And everyone was saying that like 20X is FUD. And now people are like begging for a fucking 2X. Like, 
or not quite, but like hoping for a four X and saying, yeah, I think guys, I think, I think if we really all put our minds to it and we can get a little bit of adoption and then the winds are blowing at the correct speed at the right time and we can get the sails up before the before it dies down again and 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 we can just get that shit and get the boat on the right angle get the right people to be awake and on deck at the same time then we might be able to maybe just scrape a forex in PLS by the end of this bull market and it's like say what like what like why you're the same person that was like saying that a, a fucking 10,000 x is fud like how like how and and we know the answer we know the answer it's because motherfuckers just cannot get out of this mindset where the fucking current price action and the candle of the day is dictating their mood so this comment by mr crypto jsy is accurate that is like as soon as this start shit starts running you're going to see those same motherfuckers that were saying, maybe we can get a four X. They are going to be like fucking a thousand X. Let's fucking go. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. So this will be. Yeah. And, and by the way, ETH is proof of work, no cabal or like limited, limited cabal. Um, as in, well, no, no cabal that I'm aware of. It's proof of work, so it can't be as uh, it can't like it, it's not as uh, susceptible to to these um, threat vectors that re that require on low um, Nakamoto coefficients. And you you effectively, as things get bullish, the networks get stronger and stronger. So even though so, like the ha I haven't checked the hash rate on it, but but anyway, it's true that the more um the more redundancy that we have that allows us to escape the things that we don't like right so if you decide you're like i don't like this chain because of this i don't like this. there's a lot to not like about a lot of the chains right even though we don't all agree on what's what i think everyone in crypto would agree that i mean well look just look at the timeline Everyone thinks that their chain is like the only fucking good chain and that everything else is shit. And then they've got reasons why, right? So if we just look at that, then by definition, don't you, wouldn't you prefer there to just be like another good quality chain that you can go to if you decide that, that the one that you're on, like ETH is like a shit, shit show or like a, um, oh yeah, actually let's look, let's look quickly at that one, the MEV mevwatch.info check this shit out so yeah everything's fucking dope we've got redundancy we've got fucking tokens starting to pop off we've got the fucking bull market the hyper bull like being fucking on lock like there's been no evidence that the hyper bull is slowing down at all <clears throat> so what's this oh okay that looks like it's actually got better. That that looks, you know, you know, maybe maybe us talking about it had a positive impact where people were like, oh shit, we actually do need to care about this, uh, because at the time, I was saying Ethereum's garbage. Like when this number was when this number was creeping up back here, when it was getting to like, and and this was the trend, right? Like so when we started monitoring this, I was saying to people, look. The, this is this is any in my opinion anything over about like five percent is a bad is fucking bad but this was this was not only getting to numbers that were like over 50 percent. the trend was for it to like look at look at this trend it looked like it was going towards gentlemen it looks like this point this chart is pointing directly to one million dollars it looked like this chart was pointing directly to a hundred percent and going there fast right so even though I'm still not happy with it being over like five to 10%, this is still, at least it's gone back below 50. At least it's not the majority of the motherfucking network. At least this, at least someone did something to fucking calm this situation down. So, I mean, this is death to the chain. If you, if they let, if they let the majority of validators become like, they, they need to get this down even further. And as a matter of urgency, 
Like this is this is still too high, but it's just see see what I'm saying here. Relatively speaking, it's better than it was by a lot. Still a lot of work to go. Th that would be death to the chain. If you end up with a chain that is um, censorable, it's like not a blockchain anymore. So that's why the racism coins that I, I mean, like I saw a couple. I saw a couple that were like pretty like ridiculous and also really really rude like really bad like real like where you you know the person making it is just trying to do maximum impact right like they're trying their best to put words together in a sentence that has the maximum chance of upsetting people and the maximum chance of offending people and that sort of thing but in a way, it is it is a, a check. It's not a check that I would personally participate in, but it's a check of how censorship resistant a blockchain is. Because if that shit gets, gets taken down, and note that I don't mean by these front ends that are controlled by like so if if Dex Screener takes it down, that doesn't mean the blockchain is is censored. But if the blockchain, if the if it's if it starts to get censored at the fucking at the um at the base layer then you know that shit is fucking censored that shit's not a blockchain not in the ways that we care about let's get to this final point that we've been trying to get to for a while now this is a it's a coin called wai and so it's it's the tangang's ai coin and it's also like got meme it's also like got memes associated with it started with started with it started with the memes started from the bottom now we're here um started with the memes and then uh became an ai coin so the point is that i was actually post and this wasn't a bottom call it was just i just noticed that down here you could get a shark bag for one dollar right so there are a few uh posts by me they weren't saying buy this coin. It wasn't saying any shit like that. It was just saying, hey guys, I've noticed that this coin, you can get a shark bag for a dollar. And one of them I did, a, it was a table where it was all the Tangang coins and what it cost to get a shark position. This coin just happened to be the, ch the cheapest, right? It was like a dollar or $2 at the time. And it was like, the reason, I, there's multiple reasons that I won't get into right now of why I think a shark bag is like a good bag size. But it's like, I find it humorous that like there's over a thousand people in the Tang gang. So if everyone was like, oh yeah, I've got a dollar. I don't, I'll, I'll buy a dollar's worth of this coin. If everyone in the Tang gang did that, then the price goes to infinity, right? Just math. So not with just a dollar each, because obviously each person that buys a dollar's worth makes the price go up. So it, it's, it gets, it t trends to infinity. But the point is that at, at least at the start, it's like, do does everyone in this group have a dollar and want a, a shark position in a tang coin for a dollar or two dollars or what is it now it's like eight dollars or whatever and the timing was such that I, I think it was it was down here at the low and also at this local low as well that just by coincidence happened to be the times that i was posting about what it um what it costs and then i think it started getting talked about a little bit in a twitter space and I think the combination of those two things, not to give myself credit for it, but like um, people were like, what shark position for a dollar and or $2 and this fucking dildo happened and it went, it did like a 4X or an 8X or some shit. And then, um, you know, it's pulled back a, just a tiny bit. And now for a shark position, it's $8, right? So the reason I wanted to, the reason I wanted to mention it though is I think it's a good example, and this goes for like Hex and Pulse and everything, right? It's a good example of how sometimes when a coin looks like everyone's given up on it, it actually is like poss very possible, especially in a hyperbole, especially if it's Tang, tang Gang related, that at some point, the thing could just launch. Like a uh, it only it would take like a handful of people who are not even rich, like as in just just a handful of people being like, I have a dollar, I have some pocket change, I might buy some of this coin and just see what happens, can send some of these smaller coins. And 
And part two of this comment is it can happen sooner and faster than you're expecting, right? Like this low didn't, this is a daily chart. This low didn't grind out for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, right? Like, so some, sometimes, sometimes you can just get a coin where you're like, okay, this, this coin looks dead. We looked at some recently like OG and Enigma and stuff like that. I mean, those ones are still in a downtrend. Those ones are still in a downtrend. So who knows what could happen? I'm hoping that uh, PLS actually starts to move up and, and that, and then these other coins probably will find their local bottom, but yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, that, there's that saying that bullish always says, uh, get in where you fit in. And I think it's not that insane. Mofos are going over to other chains and aping hundreds of dollars into honeypots. If you are the sort of person that's like doing that kind of shit where you're like, I don't even care. It's only a hundred dollars. I'm just fucking one of these things might take off and then, you know, cover all my other losses and, and shit like that. You would be better off taking on, taking a, like a single dollar or a few dollars and buying a bag of a Tangang coin that looks like people have given up on it. That is just statistically a better play, better risk and reward, better, like, better memetics, better fucking ch like um chance chances of it not being a scam, better fucking chances that it's going to pump and stay pumped, better just better everything, like literally better everything. And so and then and then you're also not uh leaving and taking your economic energy to a chain that I know most of you don't actually want to go to. M like most of the people that are going to these other chains are not they're not like, "Yay, I love technology. Yay, I love VC back technology that turns off. Oh, yay. I love technology that's linked to a centralized entity that's also backed by VCs and also turns off. Like, no, no, no motherfucker wakes up and says, you know what really inspires me today is going over to these fucking cuck chains that are just filled with corruption and wash trading um, and, and try and make a bag over there so I can come back and actually buy the coins that I legitimately want. It's like that shit where people say, the things that you think you're trying to do in life so that you can retire, just look at what re what you think retirement looks like for you. And you can actually go start going and doing most of those things right now. You can go and sit on a beach right now. You can go and spend time with friends right now. You can go and play computer games right now. And it's like, you can just actually go bring, like bring it back to the Grove by looking at what coins you want a position in you don't, you don't have to go over to another chain, get rug pulled and lose your money in an attempt to make money to bring it back to the Grove. You can just fucking participate in the, in the Tangang and the Grove and the, and the, coins, that, the coins that look like they're dead but are probably going to pump. If you go through and look at the Tang coins, I don't think there's a single one that hasn't like chilled for a, a, for a period of time and then just rocketed off one day for some random reason because some other third party is deciding to do a giveaway airdrop to that token or someone decides it's the white list of a fucking nft mint or that it's re the required currency to buy it or or whatever sometimes something will just be the catalyst and then it'll just rocket and then Everyone else is like, what is this coin that's just going to the moon for no fucking reason? I want to get on that pump as well. And then it just rockets even harder. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell anyone what to do. Obviously, you guys do what you want. If you're having fun, like going and doing multi-chain shit, that's cool. Go and do you. Like, um, I just think that, you know, you, if, if, if what you want is price performance and if what you want is some uh, reasonable statistical advantage and and reasonable chance that you're not just going to get rugged like 99 times out of 100 100 i i think that um those opportunities are probably more likely on pulse chain than they are on those other coins on those other chains sorry and i think that's it i think that's it boys and girls I was saying the other day, when I say gentlemen, that's everyone. I'm, I'm addressing everyone in the room. And if you don't like that shit, take it up with the wokes. 
They're the ones that fucked up words or at least attempted to. So, yeah, so that's it. So I'm, I'm bullish or obviously I'm always bullish. I'm, uh, someone just bought $4,000 worth of PLS. Uh, I'm, I'm bullish. I'm really happy with the, with the continued efforts and, and, um, like growth and the, both the growth of the Tangang and the things that I see growing out of the Tangang, really impressive shit. Uh, I'm going to try and stream more often, uh, read the disclaimer before you try and sue me because it's got important jokes in there that show you how not serious my shit is. And, um, yeah, just keep, just keep fucking, just keep fucking doing it. Just keep fucking doing it. And, Sometimes just do it some more.